Fine. Michael is closer to me, but I mean, let me uh, show my gender bias yeah. and then <laughs> move to Ijoma. Ijoma, yes. you are married, happily mm -hmm. married for how many years? And then at a point in the marriage, you realized or you find out you can no longer perform sexually. Will you allow your husband to have extramarital sex? No. Can you tell your husband that, honey, I can no longer satisfy you sexually, so feel free and then get one or two girlfriends outside to help you? No, I don't think I, I have the stomach for that. <laughs> I can't. Like, if I can't perform sexually, mm. maybe the best thing I can do is maybe for us to just separate, just get a divorce or something, because I don't see how I am married and I know very well that this is my husband and I allow him to go out and be sleeping with other people and he comes home every night and I know he just because had You sex. can't help him with that. So let's you just can't go, do it. Let's just go as a, a separate ways. With that, I know that if we are, if we both gone our separate ways... But you ways, people took the vows for better, for worse. So your husband is supposed to be with you no so matter fine. what. So fine. He's not so... If he's supposed to be with me for better or worse, then he should stick with me and not think of having sex outside. But if he must have sex, then let's just go our separate ways because me, I can't bear it. Mm. I can't. I you don't have honest. the heart for that. No. Michael? Uh, yes, uh, I think that uh, personally I would say no because I feel that, I mean, as an individual, the main motive of getting married is to actually reproduce, I mean, give birth to children and all that. So, I mean, if I get married to you and I find out that I can't sexually satisfy you, I think uh, that wouldn't have to make me let you do uh, that somewhere else, yes. But are you not being selfish here? No. Because you can't give him that. What? Or no, you I can't give him that. that. So if you tell him or her I think, that I can't give you this, but I can't also deny you of that happiness, it, so feel free to have it elsewhere. Just no. separate ways. I, I think if I know that I am not married to you, I can sleep at night knowing that, okay, he's no longer my husband, yeah, sure. so do whatever you want. But if I know I'm still married to you, and then you go out, I can't, I can't bear that pain. I'll I, just be hurting myself. I personally think that aside the fact that uh, sex should give that pleasure mm. uh, to a woman, uh, I think that also uh, the problem here would be uh, children. Yes, because uh, that, that would be what I would consider most. Mm. And I think even with that, there are other ways you can solve such problems. Okay, other so medical let's ways look at order. it this way too. If this one is you telling your partner to go out, what if your wife tells you that, Michael, I can't, I can no longer have sex with you or I can't perform sexually. So feel free to have one or two girls outside to help you out. Will you do that? No, I wouldn't. I think I would have done the same Michael, thing. are you sure? Of course. I mean, if, if, if do unto others what you want others to do unto you. So of course, if I wouldn't want my wife to do that, why then would I do that to my wife? Because uh, like I'm saying, if it, if it goes down to giving birth, then we can adopt or find a medical way of solving this problem. Yes, so but let's, with let's sexual look at it desires, this way. I think you both are married like i said earlier for better or for worse you you both are to be together no matter what till death do you part you had an accident along the way yes. and medically you can't maybe you had a problem with your spine or you, if you're a man maybe your manhood yeah. and you i mean it's just not possible that you can have sex with your partner medically i mean what is it, is it wrong for you to so you mean you give up your how many years of marriage let's forget about children because uh, let's say that you already have children yeah. you've had two or three children okay. along the way or even if it's only one yeah. and then this problem has come will you give up your marriage and your children and everything because you can't give your husband or your wife sex yes i think the truth is uh being in the marriage now this is there's an accident that something has happened that uh, makes you not to be able to have sex that means you have a past record of having sex mm -hmm. and being who you are. But unfortunately now, you can't perform like uh, you used to. So I think if you are going to stay in the marriage without sex, and even when the marriage is separated, you are still going to stay without sex, then I think it's better you separate. What about the other family values? If, because if, if, if marriage you, is not just about the sex. I think there so. There are other things that if, make up the exactly. marriage. If you talk to your wife about it, I think you would have to get the understanding. I mean, both of you would have to get the understanding that this is the real situation and we have to deal with it. Like, we, we make uh, marriage vows, like, for better, for worse. So, if it's for better, for worse, then you have to stay with it. So, Ijoma, yes. um, as a woman, 
that's a woman very beautiful as you are i'm sure we all know that whether we admit it or not there are extramarital affairs some way somehow at at some point we may never know so would you rather have your husband with you not formally or officially telling you i'm i'm seeing this girl or that girl but yet he goes out and comes home clean the mouth as if nothing happened but he had gone to enjoy himself somewhere. Would you prefer that if, situation? If he's pretending to me, he goes out to have sex and I don't know. That's how... That's you prefer I, that? Yeah, it's not like I prefer it. I don't know. I don't know that he, this is what he's doing outside. Yes, but you can also let him do it and forget. I mean, just pretend you don't know. But once I know. know about it, the moment I get to know, that one there, that's the end. You just can't continue. Yes, because with the I feel like if it's because of me, you, 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 you want to have sex outside because I can't perform sexually, and just tell me that. So, Joma, not to cut you, but if your husband also tells you mm -hmm. that, baby, I can't have sex with you anymore. So, if you find any man attractive that can help you out, just feel free. Would you accept that one? For me personally, that's why I said that I, me, I can't take that pain of knowing that my husband is sleeping with other people. Mm -hmm. I have to be honest. But if he tells but you, but if to... he tells me that this is what I, I don't think I, I would do it. I would let us just maybe have a divorce or something. But if he can take it, fine. That one is his own. Is his wahala. If he can take it, fine. But me, you are not being selfish. I'm not being selfish. I'm being honest. <laughs> no, I'm being honest. You, you, me, I cannot see you do that when we are still married. So let's just have a divorce. But if you can take it from me, fine. You can actually have your husband in the house go out and i mean party have fun and then oh, come no, back but if he's in that predicament maybe he's sick or something i need oh i don't think i would be you know doing all that he may not be sick or bedridden he may be fine i mean going about his normal duties and all that but sexually yes, he then, can't perform so if if he, he doesn't want a divorce and he says that you i can still that one there he, he can take it he's a man he's strong enough to take it me i can't i have to be honest me i cannot do it so he, if he if he can take it that's fine Michael, with me. if your wife tells you that she can't perform so feel free would you would you agree feel to free that? to you should out. feel free yes go out and well, then maybe like, one or two once in like, a while like i said um let, let me just quote this i mean life is about choices mm -hmm. yeah. and you know that every choice you make has an implication future implication maybe for now you may Think that okay she's giving me the the green light to go ahead and do whatever i want to do but you also have to sit down and analyze things well because in the long run this can come with serious complications that is a situation where your wife would not not necessarily trust you but she would have hard feelings because humans are human but she told you to go that is a, a decision she's she's at that point she's wanting to satisfy you because it, it she, she feels that you you need that but looking at things, I mean, if you can, and you have to, because uh, you, you made the vow that for better or worse, mm -hmm. looking at it, you would have to um, um, look at the situation, even though it's a dicey one, and then make... make you make, have still not answered my question. My so question. if she tells you to go out you and have I want. extra... You personally, want. I want. No. Are you sure you want? I want. I want. I want. Not at all. And like Ijoma said, I mean, if, if, if you are doing it, without her, her, her permission, mm. or if you are doing it uh, outside her will or knowledge, then I think that in one way or the other, it is even better than doing it with her so knowledge. So it means or you, would with do, her. you would do it without her knowledge than rather let her see that if, this is the girl. Yeah, if I have to be honest, saying. if I have to be honest here, I will do it without her knowledge. I mean, and I wouldn't... deception. And well, I, whatever I, you call it, but... I, no, 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 not at all. Because, like I'm saying, everything has complications. Or uh, uh, I mean, it will go a long way to hurt her or cause her to feel hurt in so many ways. So then I would rather uh, think of her security. Do it secretly. That that would be better. I think so. Because but I also feel that like you you ask a question that if it were me and my partner tells me to mm -hmm. have extra marital yes. um, this thing, if I know I can't perform, I also think that if my husband loves me so much. He won't tell me that. So yeah. I, I, I can't perform sexually. So yeah. you can, if he loves me, hey, he cannot tell me that. No, but he can't also uh, stop you from having your your sexual feelings. I mean, yes, satisfied. He can, but I don't think somebody who really you are, loves you. You are a young, bubbly exactly, young woman, and so no, I don't think somebody who really loves you. Mm -hmm. You see, hmm. I mean, if I'm not giving you the pressure. Okay, so then let me ask you, Michael. What if you you realize you can't perform? Yeah. You told your wife. You didn't tell her to, I mean, have extramarital affairs or yeah. extra 
sex. And then you find out that she's been cheating. Would you even call that one cheating? Because you can't perform. I will call and so it you cheating. find out that she has been enjoying herself with one man. Of course, I will call it cheating. Whether I know it or not, it's still cheating. I will call it cheating. You can't and perform. I, it's still cheating. What I can perform. So what would you have her do? Cheating. Stay in the house of course. with you? Of course, that, yes. Because, that, that because I will still call it cheating. Divorce. Because I mean, biblically, I mean, if, if, if cheating is the only way you can actually depart or divorce or separate from your woman or your wife. So then if, if this situation can make you stick to me and you go secretly doing, uh, uh, having sex behind me, then it's cheating. So then we should, we should divorce. Okay, Joma, finally, if you find out your husband has been seeing other girls enjoying his, himself outside without your formal permission, but you know, he, uh, uh, you, um, you know you can't perform, how would you take it? I would, the, it's not funny. We just have to... Go our separate ways, honestly. Ijoma, you're just bent on having a divorce. And, I... and because I just want to set you free. You want to have sex. Go and have your sex. I don't want to yes. be in the house knowing that my husband is sleeping with somebody sex, else. Yeah. Just um, let me set you free so that we'll both be at So peace. finally, your position is divorce. Let, yes. Straight up. Yes. And Michael? My position is uh, having a conversation with you. I mean, that's the conversation we are having. That go no, and have that extra no, no, no. sex. No, I, I, no. Until you bend a pressure, a, some sort of pressure on her. You know, if I'm with you and there's a problem, until I begin to, to, to bend some level of pressure on you, you wouldn't come up with such a decision. Mm -hmm. You see? So if I am okay with the situation, and if I get to talk to you about it, and we both understand each other, then I think we can still be together. But when I, I begin to come up with uh, sexual topics, and me wanting to have sex, and because of your situation, it can't be possible. But we are I human, and I mean, let's not all pretend. Can you stay with your wife or husband for months and years without sex so, because he or she can't perform? So that's as said, let's go separate because even okay. if you understand, a time will come, come that yeah. I would definitely want to have sex. sex. I'm not rude. I would definitely want to do it. So let me just save you the pain and the heart. Break. All right. Thank you very much, Ijoma and Michael. We have been discussing whether or not you would allow your husband or wife to have extramarital sex if you find out you can no longer perform, especially in bed. And Ijoma has made her position straight. She is opting for divorce. She can't just take it. Michael is being a bit diplomatic about it. But I don't know what you think. Let's continue the debates in our houses, in the trotro, in our car, in our offices. 